Claiborne, and I'm your hostess for this program. I so love to paint outside. I get such inspiration um, and just the beauty and the blue skies and the clouds and the weather. There is no end to what I can do. Now, every day in the summer, I love to walk around this beautiful lake. It's Lake Junaluska near Waynesville, North Carolina. And I come upon this gorgeous church and there's flowers all around it. Well, today I decided I'm going to paint this plethora of color that you see right here next to, the, next to this building. Um, and you got the nice contrast with the, with the darks and the lights and the color. And so I just am so looking forward to painting this painting. So I'm so glad you're joining me. And to not miss another episode, please hit the subscribe button and the bell and join your, ask your friends to join us. And we're just gonna have a great time exploring this wonderful world that God created with so much beauty and inspiration. We'll look forward. Oh, we found another plein air painter here. Hi. Hi. I'm Nancy Claiborne. Hi, Nancy. And I'm from Where I Plein Air. And what's your name? My name is Lori Lamb. Lori Lamb, it's and nice to meet you. I am new in this area. I uh -huh. moved up from Raleigh. And I am just okay. on a little extended vacation that will extend forever, I think. Uh -huh. I'm here in Maggie, in uh, Lake Junaluska, and uh -huh. I started painting over here, trying to brush up on getting that experience to be outside, and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. yeah. The sky is always changing, the lake is always changing, the light's always changing. Yeah. And, you know, you just have to relax and enjoy it and change it. I'm painting the lake. I'm actually... Uh -huh. um, a portrait artist. I oh. actually do people most of the time. Oh. Do you have a website or a Facebook page that you I post do. on? What would um, that be? His many faces. His many faces. Com. Dot com. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. And, um, if you happen to be in this area uh -huh. um, and you want to see a little bit of what I do, I have a beautiful painting hanging at St. John the Evangelist in the sanctuary. Okay. Um, and I hope eventually to. Um, have some other things around Waynesville in different places okay. that I'm working on and um, hope to get some followers out outside as well and people to join me and and um, just help me continue to share my passion. So laid out and I love to use transparent colors because it makes my paintings get a glow and I love to put that back on the um, <clears throat> on my underpainting here other people might put other colors but I usually always put these beautiful bright colors I can't seem to get away from them you know I try to paint like other people <laughs> but I've really grown to love these transparent colors so I will show you some of what I have I have uh, sap green. I have permanent rose. I have alizarin crimson and uh, cadmium red uh, blade. I have uh, magenta and I have uh, red and a um, dioxazine and um, transparent orange oxide, transparent brown oxide. And I have viridian. I like to use Viridian to bring some darks out and different kinds of greens. <clears throat> Actually, um, Caribbean blue. And I love to use that down in Florida in the water. And a nice streak of white. I'm using it in my little container here. I know it's really pretty and cute, isn't it? But it's a lid I had and it seems to work better than the other containers that I have and they seem to be too small and pulled out. But I use walnut oil in here. I'm painting on board that I gessoed myself. This happens to be like an NBS type board. 
I do like to use to paint on birch board too. And I, I tend to use and like the Skoda brushes. They seem to hold up. I have um, tried Richeson and um, Black Silver. That's kind of a nice one. Pretty good. Um, by Dynasty. It's a cheaper brush that seems to hold up well. But I do like a Skoda. They, I don't lose my um, hairs off them. They don't come out. I've tried some cheaper ones, and I'll try them again. But anyways, being I have a smaller canvas, I'll probably use some smaller brushes. Come to paint with me. Bunch of geese. Say hi, Seth. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Working on a puzzle. Yeah, do you like sitting here at this beautiful lake? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think you're doing a puzzle with flowers in it. Is that what you're doing? A puzzle with flowers? To have beautiful flowers in it? I think. So. Do you like to do puzzles while your mama paints outside? Yeah. You like being outside in God's beautiful nature? Yeah. It's very calming, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Gotta let the sunshine slip back here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, that is very, very pretty. You're doing a puzzle. Very good. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, what else to do. There's too many little pieces. Oh, yeah, a lot of little pieces on that puzzle. I can't yeah. even do big pieces. Oh. So, 
what do you think? I was pretty pleased with how it turned out today. We were uh, painted for several hours and um, I was kind of wondering how it was going to be, but you just have to have faith and move forward and <clears throat> just keep placing your, your colors and um, your values and your shapes and um, voila, you get a painting out of it. So I don't know, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't say anything. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can find this painting. It's available for sale at www.nancyclayburn.com. And uh, you can also order prints, uh, glaché, canvas wraps, um, and all different sizes. So whatever suits your needs, or even if you want greeting cards, we can make greeting cards for you. So anyways, we had a lovely time. We got to meet Lori Lamb. What a pleasure it was to meet Lori and I hope that she gets out and joins that plein air group Smoky Mountain plein air and I hope that you join a plein air group also um, it's so much fun to be able to go outside and to paint with other people most people are very friendly that you paint with and are really um, desire to to help you don't feel bad if you're a beginner because everyone's there to help you. Anyway, and follow along after this and watch the beautiful photos that I took for you. And they're absolutely beautiful. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Let's not miss another one together. Thank you so much.